I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gets to around the 42. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Chandler gets three yards on the carry. About the 47 yard line. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Brooks is the putter. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Alabama's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had a crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. And we'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. After positive yardage. That brings him second in Tackle made around the 40 yard line. Tackles him hard at midfield. That makes it first and ten. Check, check back, eleven. Check back, eleven. He's tackled at the thirty-five. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Harris. Again, they'll bring him down at the 34. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That brings us second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 34-yard line. And he's tackled at the 33. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at the 15. First down. Oh, 
brought down right around the 14 yard line. The 11-yard line. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. That was what I call a power play in pass defense. He made solid contact and forced the incompletion. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. <laughs> Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Just picked off to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown tie. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. Alabama's looking awfully impressive right now on defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did it. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Mike A, Mike A. Let's go. Motion, motion, motion. And down he goes at the 27. Gaining two yards. That brings up third and 12. Yard line. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Booming kick. 
He's at midfield. Tackle at the 47. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them somewhere. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. They'll give it off here. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. And he can't get away from the pressure. and long here after the sack. We played one. The Crimson Tide in front, 10-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. out to about the 32-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. No, no gain, gain on, on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and ten. ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 32. <laughs> Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. And he hits him hard at the 40. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. He's taken down at the 50. And they get a few yards on the halfback option. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Got it. 
Makes it out to about the 30. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Nice run there. That's good for a five yards. That brings him second and five. Runs it again, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 32-yard line, third down. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. and he's got his man. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Level at the 39. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll make it second and long. Inside the 43. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Johnson gains about four yards there. Brooks is waiting for the snap. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Alabama's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star-type game right now, and yet they got the lead here. We're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half being over and to see that their go-to wide receivers not putting up these big numbers and yet they still have the lead just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the team makes these receivers stepped up. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. and pick up. Tennessee's going to take their first time out of the half. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he didn't get enough for the first. No, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. 
I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Caught a big hit there to stop it. quickly to the tight end and he's hit before he can go anywhere going long almost picked off Johnson says he's intended to receive the wrong way they'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt and they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away. And he got it. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 10 3, Alabama. See Maglia has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Alabama is up a score. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he tackles him hard at the 48. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Fires out quick. It's picked off. He goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First and 10. Ball on their own 35. is it and it's picked out of the sky big play there by the defense that's their second pick of the half yeah this offense has to stop making mistakes these turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away first down 10 to go ball on the 46 yard line alabama is up seven He's wrapped up for the sack. Alabama's called their final timeout. Man left, man left. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He wants it all. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. And 
and he converts the extra point. And that'll do it for the first half. 17-3, Alabama. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. If I had to guess, both quarterbacks sitting in the locker room right now, probably a little bit jumpy. Both these Wait, guys, what was that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> both these guys have been hit and hit often in this game. How does, how does being sacked as many times as these guys have affect their play in the second half? Well, uh, coaches, defensive coaches always told me throughout my career that those early hits take a toll late on the quarterbacks. And, you know, once they – it's so easy to be sitting in the pocket and one read, two read, three reads, and you see quarter, quarterbacks buy time. When they start getting hit after their second read and right when they're getting to their third read, then they know in the back of their mind when they're stepping in that pocket – well, it might be coming again. So it, it makes the great quarterbacks, you know, even even gives them happy feet, makes them step up in the pocket and feel pressure that's not always there. So if you get to him, he feels that pressure, but it also puts a little bit of doubt in his head later on about that offensive protection. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. That makes it seven and six. Hey, check, check Mike, 11, check Mike, 11. Shift, shift. Brought down at about the 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Two down, two down. Hey, check, check Mike, Mark, And he's tackled at the 45. Man left, man left. That makes it second and two. Down, two down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Go! Give to the tailback. Gets to about the 47 yard line. Call it a game of two yards. First down. Two down, two down. Tackle at the 48-yard line. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. He scrambled, and it's caught. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 31. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. That brings him second and five. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. From the 31 yard line, second down. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop around the 20 yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Shift, shift. 
Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes at the eight. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. They'll line up with five wide receivers. in there, got it, touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he adds the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Runs outside for a nice game. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He steps up, and they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third down, six to go. Ball on their own 29. Let's go! And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. Brooks is the punter. And he just got drilled. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterbacks put the ball right on the money. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 44. is out to the tailback on the screen. He steps out around the 48-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. He's at the 40, and he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a deep five on the play. That makes it second and six. Knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. The ball is loose. Now the defense has it. The safety.
And the safety's all alone, and no one's going to catch him. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called him a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Set, blue 14, blue 14. He's got it out to his tight end. And they push him out at about the 11. That makes it first and 10. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. And he's taken down at the three-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Touchdown! That's his third toss for a score. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he tacks on the extra point. Alabama, the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's tackled at the 35. Tennessee's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down and they're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Run, run. Caught with room to work. He's taken down at about the 41. That's a great tackle at the 36 yard line. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Alabama in control. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. We head to the fourth quarter, and this one is well in hand. 31-3, Alabama.
Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. He's in trouble, and now the ball is loose. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. down now and they need to get it inside the 46. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen and he's level at the 44. away and it's a booming punt little too much leg into that punt they'll bring it out to the 20 for Alabama their pass rush has really been impressive today Kirk this is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget well even though this round of the rivalry battle hasn't been close these guys are still going to try to dent this impenetrable defense as much as they can. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Motion, motion. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. It's the tailback. Tackled for a loss. So a running play on third and long nets them very little yardage. Now you can't do that when you're losing a ball game. Now's the time to take your shots downfield. Brooks is waiting for the snap. He's at midfield. Not a bad return. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Alabama is winning big. He fights forward to about the 43. Sanders gains about a yard on the play. That brings up second and eight. From the 43-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. He's looking for six. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. That's his fourth touchdown pass of the game. Well, he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket. That's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times. And he converts the extra point. A short three-play, 44-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 38-3. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Just throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Set. 
Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Moses with the tackle at the 27 yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Gets to about the 27 yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Brooks awaits the snap. He really got a hold of that one. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. Alabama's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, to try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Just under three to go in regulation. They'll bring him down at the 48. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. tries to buy some time. They've really thrown the quarterback's rhythm off and rattled his confidence with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Under pressure. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Chandler on the inside handoff, brought down at the 21. It's third and nine. Ball on the 21. Green here, and the halfback's got it. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. Brooks to punt. He's knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. The lights went out a long time ago, for one of these teams anyway. They'll be put out of their misery soon. And down he goes. That's the 45.
Just a total lack of competition today. 38-3, Alabama. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.